Although many distributions nowadays are mainly Debian, Ubuntu, or Arch distributions, OpenSUSE is still a major distribution and has many followers due to its uh, unique community and it is a target audience which uh, it uh, refers to. If we look at the types that they have, they have two types. They have the open SUSE tumbleweed and there is the leap. The tumbleweed is similar to the Arch distribution because it will it is a rolling release distribution, but it is also a stable, a very stable release. And there is the extra stable one, which is the leap version, which is also every one or two years, they make an update and uh, the distribution, the packages will get updated every one or two years. So for our installation, we will look at first at Leap and we'll have also a very fast look at Tumbleweed in the end. So let us start with the installation. So we we'll start first with new. We put SUSE with an E. Next, we'll make it around 2 gigabyte. Next, create. Next, next, I'll make it around 15, 17 gigabyte. We'll start and we will start with, let us start with the tumbleweed. Choose, start, press enter. And we are now in the installation phase. Just to note, there, were, there are three versions that you can install. There is the offline version, which is around 4 GB. And there is the network version, which is around 200 megabytes, And there is the live version. The live version, they have three types. I am using now the XFCE. They have the XFCE, the KDE, and the GNOME live version. So I choose I chose the XFCE and we will start with the installation. So this is the welcome screen. Let me close it and we'll start with the installation. So there are initializing the network configuration for the firewall and the network uh, network. They will be also when we install it it will also be apparent for us. We have the language. So it is English English we put next activate online repositories now i'll put yes i will keep the main update and the main repository for the sources and the debug okay that's fine for me next so now online repositories has finished we are now an add-on products so we have desktop with kde with gnome with xfce with generic desktop with server and there is transactional server so we have these three and we have this generic. Let us try this generic. We'll put next. So although it is a live XFCE, it is it will not download the XFCE. It gives you these three. So if you chose the KDE, it will install KDE, although the live is XFCE. Let us continue with the suggested partitioning. They have created a GPT and the partition sda1 sda2 no problem next so the clock zone usa eastern new york next no problem i will put the uh, sus i'll put the password i'll put next really use this password yes no problem okay so and now install so it is performing the installation and we will be back when it's finished. It has finished and we are again into a welcome screen. So ahoy, this is open SUSE. Show on next startup. Let me close this one and I close. And it seems you are now in ICE WM. So the generic desktop that we chose, it was ICE WM. They did not specify it. They kept it as a surprise. And it is really a surprise because ISWM is one of the lightest window managers available. So let us see first here on the desktop 
on the panel the web browser browser so we'll open the web browser and internet is not working so this is to be expected when you install open source because you need to manage your internet or the network yourself so we close here or we keep it we go to and check the system yes we'll put our password and we go to and network setting the device is not configured please edit to configure so we edit so i am on a virtual box for if you are on, on if you are not on a virtual box this will not work and so we choose here dynamic address i press next and okay let us check again here and now the internet the network works so this is a a negative for new users because when they enter and they want to check for the internet the internet will not be there and they don't know how to get the network so let us close firefox after the web browser there is the x term let us open the x term so they have a very basic terminal they did not include any terminal at all let's just check how much we are using and we are using around 267 megabytes of ram and the storage is we are using 3 gigabyte 3.46 gigabyte of storage it's not bad for a tumbleweed next we have i don't think we have a file manager let us check so again we don't have a file manager so we need to install a file manager so you have two methods to install it either you install it using the terminal using zipper i will show you how so you put sudo so you put sudo zipper install i will install thunar and i will install also lx terminal so let me press enter put the password press yes okay so it's finished so hopefully now we have a file manager let us check where it is so we have now a file manager and the internet is working let us check the terminal the new terminal so we have LX terminal and as you can see also it is without any theming it's only black and white let us check the latest to check the kernel and it is using 5.16 the kernel which is the latest one we will continue also with the storage 3.48 and if you want to check how much ram it is using it is using now 320 of course with the terminal the tunar open which is also very light what uh, separates open source with uh, the others is we have the yast and the yast software let us open the yast software for example you see this password identification it is a retro one so here this is the famous yast installer it is very straightforward you just put the anything you want let's say i want to install libreoffice you press enter let's say you want you click it it will also click for you all the additions that will be included if you don't like let's say the language sometimes you have some language you don't want to include it you have the option to uncheck it so it's a very good feature for this one i install all all on my uh, debian system i will i install always w bar w bar is not available here so we need to get it from the obs the open build service which is found in the repositories so we close this one so now let's say I want to check for the W bar. 
and this is the W bar. So I view it. This is only for tumbleweed. So there is no W bar for leap, unfortunately, although W bar is a very small and very old package. So we press the show community packages and we have one of them. Let me click it. Open with yes. I will say OK. And it is completed here. I double click it. So it says I clicked it two times. No problem. W bar is a quick launch. I will put next. If you continue, the following changes will be made to your system. So they give you information, extra information, which is a good thing and a bad thing. A good thing is that you know that these repositories will be added. You can remove them later. But for new users, giving these extra information and is, is really uh, frightening. So let me put next. Have you reviewed the changes made to your system? Malicious packages? No, it is because it is in your repositories. They ask for password here. And software installation successful. I'll put finish. Let us check it. Let us check it to the terminal. We press W bar and W bar is installed. So this is open SUSE leap. I already fixed here the network and also I installed LX terminal. So here we we'll let us go and check. Uh, let us go to the LX terminal. We'll check how much we are using. And you can see we are using a minimum amount of RAM, 213 megabytes. And if I want to check the kernel, they're still at 5.3, which is also an old kernel. Let us look at the software. And let us say I want to install a GIMP. I press the search and GIMP is at 2.10.12. The other one was 2.10.30. So that's why it is the tumbleweed is the latest one. So that's basically our open source uh, look. We looked at Leap and we looked at tumbleweed. It depends on your taste. Leap is an old kernel, but it is very stable and you can install whatever you want. And if you notice, the RAM is very low. For tumbleweed, it's a rolling release and there's many options you can choose from. It's also solid but you have to have some knowledge in order to get around thank you